Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be getting into some of NeoVim's top color schemes. And with the addition of vibe coding, it's now more important than ever to be looking good and feeling good while you code. So let's go through some of NeoVim's best color schemes. Tokyo Night. This is a fan favorite for a reason. It's clean, dark theme, has a nice bluish green palette to it. It's modern, it's sleek. Comes in four flavors, night, storm, day, and moon. It's very beautiful. I like the night variant. It's deep, moody background. Vibrant syntax pops out at you. Very snappy, just great. We got the Everforest. This is like a trip to a forest cabin for a relaxed yet focused coding session. A must have for anyone who loves those earthy tones. Warm natural tones like forest greens, soft browns, very soothing coating environment. Comes in like three dark variants. Excellent tree sitter LSP support. A must have plugin. One dark, very clean professional vibe. It's like coating in a high end IDE but with NeoVim. It's got a dark charcoal like background, vibrant poppy. Bold yet balanced, like all things should be. Definitely a must have. One dark. All right, rose pine. Nice, soft, minimalist palette. Has three variants main, moon, and dawn. Comes with muted pinks, greens, and golds. Very calming, aesthetic vibe, easy on the eyes. Another great one, must have, and kind of iconic. All right, this one's Kanagawa. This one feels like you're staring at an art gallery. Comes in a few variations. Earthly palette, deep blues, warm browns, soft reds. Good contrast, readability. The syntax separation and logical highlighting is excellent on this one. A must have plugin and also one of my favorites. All right, I got Night Fox, another beautiful one. What I like about the plugin for this for NeoVim is it comes in like a bunch of different flavors like Carbon Fox, Dawn Fox, and then the iconic Night Fox. Very poppy, good syntax highlighting. Definitely one of my go-tos. And for the retro maxers among us, we got Groovebox. This has been a staple for years and for a very good reason. It's got a warm, earthy palette. It's got dark and light variants. The dark mode uses soft oranges, greens, and browns. Has a nostalgic, readable vibe. Has good contrast, making the keywords, variables, and comments stand out pretty clearly. If you love that vintage feeling, Groovebox is a must and looks great with other nice Groovebox rices for your desktop. We got Capuchin. Beautiful pastel like color scheme that you can just keep your eyes on all day. Comes in four flavors, mocha, frappe, latte, and some other one that I can't pronounce. Warm, soft palette. The gray like pastels are just really easy to the eyes. You can kind of just rest your eyes on these all day long. Very great for coding. The syntax is logically separated very nicely. It's important that you get a good logical separation with the syntax highlighting because that makes it extra readable. And Moonfly. A darker, more of a darker background, very vibrant, a GUI only I believe, but it's very bold, colorful, has bright blues, purples, greens, striking, high contrast, so you gotta keep that in mind. High contrast can be a little bit tougher on the eyes, but this one's not too bad. You're gonna have to try this one out for yourself. This is Moonfly. You can check out vimcolorschemes.com for some wicked color scheme presentations and links to all of the GitHubs so that you can add the plugins to your NeoVim. 